What's up, everybody? Welcome to Project Porsche Episode 9, Part 2. So after I installed the outer weather stripping, I turned my attention to the felt covered guides the window glass travels in in the inside of the doors. I thought these pieces were still in good shape, but unfortunately, I didn't see that two of these guides were damaged on the inside, and I had to do a search for some new ones. Basically, it seems like there was a slight mismatch between the curve of the metal channel that holds these rubber guides and the shape of the window glass. And that mismatch caused the glass to bind where the original rubber felts were damaged. I think this binding point may have also played a role in snapping the broken mounting points I welded in an earlier episode. So I had to find at least two new guides before I could get these doors back together. Pelican carries genuine Porsche ones, but they're kind of spendy. $61 for the freaking Porsche part. So I did a search for something cheaper and I found these aftermarket ones on 944online.com. All right, these are way cheaper. So I just found these on 944, so I'm gonna try to order these up. Since they were a quarter of the price of the factory Porsche parts, I decided to take a chance and I ordered four new guides from 944 online. I'm gonna have to go in the garage and get some better light on these so you can see them. They feel, they feel kind of chintzy. Maybe that's why they're only $13. <laughs> So I ordered four replacements. Now these are aftermarket, and I was just comparing them to the old ones. Um, two of the felt strips that were inside my doors were really bad, uh, and two were okay. This is the new replacement for $14 from 944 online, and this is the stock one. There seems like there is a little bit more felt, like it is a little nicer. Cross section, everything is really close, maybe the same. The felt is definitely not as soft. The material feels like it's maybe a little thinner. So I might actually still use some of my old ones. This looks like the, this bottom right here is a little wider than on the stock one. So hopefully it'll still work. We're gonna try it. I did put them in and I even went through the whole process of putting the glass and everything together because I thought, well, maybe they just don't fit right. Maybe the glass needs to be in there to kind of push them into their thing or something, but the window wouldn't move. It was just clear that it didn't fit. There just wasn't enough room for everything to work correctly. The base on the aftermarket one is larger and then even the little rubber like flange thingy that's sticking out there is is longer so there was no way I could get these things to fit in that channel without doing some kind of modification so I decided to trim the back a little bit with a razor blade and I removed both sides of that rubber flange that protruded out past where the factory one did and I basically trimmed it to fit. So I removed two of these strips from each of the two seals that I ended up using. And after I removed all that rubber, then they did go in there and seemed to work pretty well. So I used a new modified guide seal on the front of each door and my used seals that were still good on the back of each door. This rubber was actually on the passenger side, but it's less worn out. So I decided to use it on the driver's side and then put the driver's side on the passenger side. I like this rubber better than the aftermarket ones that I got. It's wedged from being at the bottom of the other side, but I'm hoping that uh, it'll be fine. I brushed them out, cleaned them up a little bit to get any dust and dirt out. And now before I put these inside the door, I'm gonna spray some silicone on them. That way I don't have to spray them when they're in the door. This metal channel gets held in by two of these. Here's a better shot of what one of these bolts looks like. So I went digging and found the bolts that I needed and then I went about putting that black channel inside the door. It's pretty tight in there and everything is at kind of an awkward angle. So I used the paper towel trick that I learned from 944 expert Porsche guy from Germany. That way the bolt stayed in the socket so I was able to get those threaded into the door. And because these bolts became loose in the past, I'm gonna put some Loctite on these. I put some red Loctite on there for some added protection. So there it is guys, 
Next episode, I'll show you how I finished putting these rubber guides in, some of the adjustments that I had to make, and get the windows and regulators put in and working. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. This is pretty much the worst video ever made. Yeah.